So one of my brothers told me that in my career, in my music career, I need a team, right? And a team is very, very important. But what do you do when everybody in your team turns on you? Everybody in your team is sometimes they're flaky, they're shaky. What do you do? I've been there and done that. And I cannot put my career, music career, or any type of career, any type of business opportunity, I cannot put that solely or even partially into the hands and control of somebody that does not see that same vision that God gave to me. Rick Ross said uh, that people are not visionary. People are not visionary. They're not able to see the vision that God gave you. They're not able to, like, so you got to understand, life is about peaks and valleys. Everybody supports you on the peaks, but in the valleys, in the fourth down, most people, most, and when I say most, I, I, I really mean that. I'm not, when I say most, I'm talking about like 95 to 99. Be lucky if you get 90%. 90 to 90. So, so I'm saying like 10% or 5% or 1%, if that, are still going to be with you in the fourth down. You got people that will rock with you. When it looks like you're going to win the game. When it looks like things are going good for you. They'll be hyping you. And I, and I, I mean, that's just human nature. That's just human nature, okay? Um, that's like, for example, if... But it's just because they're not visionary, right? If you are taking the transmission out of your vehicle... Right. For example, uh, one of my godfathers told me that by himself, he took a transmission out of his vehicle and I believe put a new one in. So what he's and that's hard to believe because the transmission is heavy. I don't know exactly how much a transmission weighs, but I know it's heavy. So this is what he said he did. When he lowered the transmission out, he actually sat it on his chest. I don't know how much the transmission weighs. It could be 500 pounds. It could be, I don't know. But if you think about a car or a vehicle, a vehicle might weigh 4,000 pounds. So I don't know exactly how much the transmission could weigh or the engine could weigh. You know what I'm saying? But let's just say anywhere from... 500 to a thousand pounds I would assume right let's just assume 500 or 800 right so I don't know what else he had there to kind of support that as he pulled it and sat it on his chest and then you know what I'm saying like I don't know what else he had but um he's military all right and so somebody seeing that or, or him telling somebody hey I'm finna pull this transmission out of my vehicle and put another one in, right? Even even him telling me that, I still can't understand it, right? Because I know I can't do it. Um, and I probably would tell him, hey, don't do it. But me and him have actually, uh, with my with my mom, with my godmom, we were actually in their uh, backyard. Um, doing some yard work one time and I seen him do some things uh, and lift some things in the yard that I mean I know I couldn't lift myself <laughs> and my mom thought I could shoot 
Yeah, I mean, so, but anyways, um, what what is my point? Um, I knew. Well, I'm not gonna say I knew, but my mom believed in me. You know what I'm saying? Or she believed that I could at least help out, right? Because I'm very helpful. And it took a team, don't get me wrong, it took a team uh, to be able to do some of that yard work. Now, actually, I feel like a team is good in some points in your career. But then there's other points where you want to have sole control, right? My father, godfather, was able to handle a very difficult task, a transmission, and some other things, some other very extremely heavy things going on there in the backyard that um, I wasn't able to, to do anything for. So sometimes a team is good. But 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 sometimes if this is your music career or your you might have a trucking career or or just starting your own business it could be anything selling t-shirts whatever you want to still have full control so like the way I see it is is like more of a partnership right like hey man I pay you x amount of dollars to do this particular thing for this one time right for this particular project i don't want you here necessarily to be in that position all the time now unless it's like let's say you're doing 90 percent of the work and then you have somebody that's doing 10 percent or something that you don't know how to do but my thing is you if if you want to be a ceo right if you want to own a business you have to learn things A to Z or at least as much of it as you can. Try to learn 92, 99% if possible, 95%, 99, 90, 90 to 95%. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do everything by yourself. Um, But when you are a small company, especially when you are a small company starting out, sometimes you don't have the funds to be able to pay everybody. And people that are People that you're going to ask to be on your team, I know this from experience, people that you're going to ask to be on your team have other things that they need to do in life, other things that they want to do in life, other dreams and stuff that they want to accomplish. They're not always going to have time to be able to support what you got what you got going on. Some of them just want to sit around and watch TV and do nothing in life. But they would rather do that than to help you work on whatever you're working on because that's stupid to them. You know what I'm saying? Why would they want to work on their day off? Um, a record deal is like a team, right? That's why I believe that for people out there that just want to be artists, I don't think that that's a good idea. I don't think that it's a good idea to just be an artist. Why? If you do your research... There are a lot of artists that only make 5, 10, 8%, 1%, 3% of the earnings of those actual songs that they do. Why? Because the artist is just like a, a fraction of the pie. The record label is running the whole other 90 to 95% of the operation so that artists can eat so that artists can have that money and that fame and that you know what I'm saying so I say man uh, I really believe that I mean I don't I don't it could be anything it could be like I say a job it could be relationships it could be your music career it could be any type of career and not a lot of people are going to be with you 
if they if they cannot see the vision. But some people are just not visionary, like Rick Ross said. You can explain it to them 15 different ways, and they still will not understand it. They might believe in you from afar. They might be like, that boy, that boy might go somewhere one day. We gotta, we gotta keep an eye on him. He might go somewhere. But they don't know if you're gonna go somewhere for sure. Now that's cool. Because sometimes we don't even know if we're gonna go somewhere for sure. But the drive and determination and the vision that we have and the faith that we have from God surpasses what they could ever. It's just like people that play the lotto. I know people that play scratch offs faithfully. Faithfully, keyword faithfully. It has been, they have a vision in their head of them hitting some money on them scratch offs. And I'm looking back like, I hope you hit, but I don't think you're going to hit. I think you're just wasting your money. But, I mean, hey, I had a friend that hit, hit some big money. So, here's my thing loyalty right it's not a lot of loyal people in this world right uh and i don't mean it like i'm not saying they don't have some type of loyalty to you right what i'm saying is think about a, 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 a relationship, a marriage, right? Because that's just like what a record label is, a record deal is. Think about like a marriage. It's just like what if you went into business with somebody. Excuse me. If you went into business with somebody, it's almost like a partnership, like a relationship, almost like a, a marriage, right? And y'all are trusting each other. Y'all have to trust each, other, trust, each, trust each other on so many things, Right? The money is like there's so many things that y'all have to trust each other on, um, and there are so many relationships, uh, businesses, careers that go into the ground because somebody in the circle was an op, or somebody in the circle had ulterior motives. Or somebody in the circle got jealous. Or somebody in the circle got greedy. You see what I'm saying? Look, man. The, the phrase, blood is thicker than water. Throw that out the window. Throw that out the window. I mean, there are times when blood is going to be thicker than water. But there are times when it's going to be some complete strangers. That are gonna rock with you harder than your own family and friends and loved ones will. Pay attention to what I'm saying. See now, I, I I don't know because it seems like to me women, a lot of women, are more of that kind of team player. They have that kind of team player mentality. Men have more of a competitive type of mentality. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want to see him eat if I ain't eating. You feel me? And that's weird. Like crabs in a bucket type thing like, like Nipsey Hussle talked about. We have, we don't, we have this crab, crab in a bucket, crabs in a bucket mentality. You know what I'm saying? And if we both started here. And then somebody, it's cool when we when we hear, we like, oh yeah, I rock with you, I rock with you, I rock with you. Or as long as the person, as long as somebody is, if they up here, as long as they giving us, so, so they can, so they can stay down on this level, and we can feel like we went up. You feel what I'm saying? And so, or or vice versa, if somebody's up here, then they give us, and we go up. You know what I'm saying? How how have you look at it? But. You, you got to understand that 
God is going to expose the real and the fake in the valley. In the valley. In the peaks, you're going to see the fake ones. You're going to have a whole lot of fake ones around you, right? At the peak, when everything is going good, when you when your job giving you extra money, when, when you when you when you doing good on your job, you are gonna have a lot of fake people around you. When your career is doing good, you are gonna have a lot of fake people around you. Yeah, man, I always believed in you. But when you hit rock bottom, and everything is in the negatives, and you don't know how you are gonna make it out, you getting sued, and you know what I'm saying, you got lawsuits, and you know what I'm saying, like it could be anything. Your house could burn down. Your, 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 your marriage is, you know what I'm saying? It could be anything. Your job, your career, your business. When all that stuff hits the fan and it's no longer good, when your lottery money run out, you're going to see who the real and the fakes are. That's why I believe that through my life journey, every time that I've been in the valley, I've noticed some things. And I've also noticed some people that are continual patterns. These same people that when you up, when everything is going good, hey man, I rock with you, I rock with you. I'm, I'm, I'm You know what I'm saying? I'm your ace type stuff. But when everything is going bad, how many of those 15, 30 people, where they at? Them people that was calling your phone asking for money. Them people that was calling your phone asking for advice. Asking for music advice, filming advice, you know what I'm saying? Like job advice, like any type of advice. You know... There's, there's knowledge, knowledge is money, knowledge is power, knowledge is, knowledge is a whole lot. It's a lot of people that sit around bull crapping and sitting around in front of the TV or just sitting around. People do whatever they want to do with their time, whether they on vacation, taking a lot of vacations or sitting in front of the TV playing video games, whatever they do. Hey, to each his own, do what you do. But don't sit up and bull corn and then call my phone talking about, hey, man, I'm trying to figure out how to do X, Y, Z. So what, you want me to look it up on my phone and then teach you how to do it? Why can't you look it up on your phone just like I do? That's like, I don't know how to play video games, to be honest. You can put me, the last game I played, I think Xbox, was it Xbox One? Xbox One, Nintendo 64. I remember Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. That was the last Nintendo I ever had. Uh, I only had two Nintendo, Super Nintendo and, 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 and Nintendo 64. I had uh, a PS One. I had an Xbox. I had a couple of Xboxes. I think two of them. And I might have had a PS2. I'm not sure. Did I have a PS2? I don't know. But anyways, if you put me on a on a on a on a gaming system today, I wouldn't know how to play it. Somebody would have to teach me what buttons to use and what the you know what I'm saying, what combinations to use and just like with music like you put somebody on an mpc machine or if you put somebody in the studio to how to record i had to learn all of all of the, the the music stuff by looking it up i wasn't sitting around watching tv or hey man look we on vacation with our, with our feet kicked up I, i'm not hating on you on vacation but look up look up some of that stuff that you've been asking me about while you're on your vacation hey man i don't know how to work on my car Look it up. That's how I figured out. Look it up. So, I'm not saying that we shouldn't help people. 
But what I am saying is you'll start to notice patterns in a lot of people. And majority of those people are not about 10. They might, inwardly, they might feel like they're about 10. You know what I'm saying? Or they might feel like uh, that they look out for you the same that you look out for them. And some of them might be. But a majority of people are about self. If you dropped $100 on the ground right now in the parking lot and kept walking, how many people in that parking lot would pick it up and put it in their pocket? How many people in that parking lot would try to find you or, or if they seen you drop it? Let's say it was like three people walking behind you and you dropped that $100. Let's say you dropped $300. Let's say you was, you was, you was, Pulling your keys or something out of your pocket, you know, just to make sure you had them. And when you pulled them out, you had your money right there, and $300 fell on the ground. Or let's say a hundred and a twenty and a and a and a, and a five fell on the ground, and the wind was blowing it. And you know what I'm saying? How many of them people walking behind you would be like, hey, hey, hey? How many people would just like, you know what I'm saying? Especially if. If, if it was only one person and they know didn't nobody else see you lose that money but them like how many like some people think that most people in the world are good I used to think that till I started seeing you, you gotta look at people's actions you know what I'm saying you gotta look at people's actions when somebody sees you in the valley what they do what they do when they see you in the valley do they try to help you get out the valley when somebody see you in fourth down do they be like hey bro punt it punt the ball bro or they be like let me jump in on the team with him because I see he, he determined to get across and I want to see him get across you know what I'm saying like that's what I'm talking about and, and and, and it's crazy because you you will have some people like that in the world that will be like, hey, I see he, you know what I'm saying? He 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 trying to you don't you don't play the whole game by yourself. Now you're at the last little couple of seconds of the game. And somebody try to jump in on fourth down and be like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? I I I I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to help you run this play. I want to see you get across. I want to see you win. And then when you, when y'all win the game, they want as much credit for that game as you put in. You ran one play. You ran one play. Now, don't get me wrong. Maybe, just maybe, we don't know. Maybe we wouldn't have won the game if you hadn't jumped in on that play. I don't know. Team can be good sometimes. Team can be bad sometimes. But it's just like an artist versus a label. Right? And if you see somebody that they done played the whole game, and they are about, they are at fourth and one, let's just say, or fourth and two, or fourth, whatever. But they real close to winning the game. It could be fourth and ten, whatever. And if you jump in and say, hey, man, let me help you. Here's my thing. If... I'm not saying that's a bad person in all cases. I'm saying you got to watch that type of stuff. If somebody can sit and watch you blood, sweat, and tears play this whole game by yourself. And then they see, okay, he might win the game. Let me jump in on this last little play. I ain't got to even break no sweat. And if we win the game, then we split everything 50-50. Anyway, that's a whole nother 
I hope y'all see where that's going, okay? Because that could, that could be a, a lot of different outcomes. It doesn't mean that somebody jumping in on four down is a bad person. Maybe they had other stuff going on. They really just genuinely trying to help. Um, But if I were to jump in with somebody like that, I wouldn't really expect 50% in return. I, I almost probably wouldn't expect nothing in return. Now, I would be thankful if they gave me something. But I wouldn't be expecting 50 because I wasn't even playing in half the game. Or the whole game. Okay, anyways. Um, when your music is not making money, right? How many people believe in you? How many people support you when your music career or your, your business or whatever is not making money? And support don't always... What, what people fail to realize is support don't always have to be money. But most people that come to me for support it's always about money when i go to when i most of the time when i go to other people for support it's typically not about money um you know it it could be something let's say you were just starting out in your career and you didn't know how to dance, you didn't know how to sing, you didn't know how to record or produce music, or you didn't know how to market your music very well, or whatever it was. And there's a lot of people that because they don't see you doing anything on the on the forefront they assume you're not doing anything in the background right you might be doing all the research in the background that's what i do i'm one of those type of people that i do so much research in the background people look at the foreground like my social media page and they judge me by that they be like oh he ain't doing nothing this boy ain't this boy ain't uh -uh. that's because they don't know me and there's a lot of people that don't know me nowadays we live in a world where we have people have little conversations but they really don't have real genuine conversations right and uh i don't know it even when your career when you don't have the funds or the funding right for your uh, career this like I say that's that's in the valley that's when you're gonna recognize who's real and who's fake a lot of times because you're gonna have why why you doing all the research and hard work and everything you're gonna have some people sitting over there watching some people over there bragging about their vacation and some people over here that's fine that's fine that's fine but that's not a team see my brother said that i need a team which he's correct but what do you do when the people that you think are the team are not the team what do you do go hire a bunch of strangers go 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 trust your business with a bunch of strangers I learned a long time ago, man. I don't need for 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 ninety to ninety five percent, if not more, of the time of my life. I really don't need anybody. I really don't want to rely on anybody. Now, God forbid, if anything can happen to any of us, right, where we have to rely on people. But what I'm saying is, if you couldn't rely on those people when you didn't need them, but you was in the valley, why would you want to, why would you trust them when you do need them? Like, for example, let's say something happened to you where you could no longer see or you could no longer use your limbs or, or anything like that. And you had to rely on somebody to take care of you for the rest of your life. But all these people have shown you in their life that 
I mean, let's say if you lose a job or something like that, they don't even, they don't even want to have nothing to do with you. So if you lose some limbs and some eyes, what 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 makes you want to trust that person when they've already shown numerous times that they are not worthy of the calling? They are only they only love you in certain conditions. It's not that unconditional love like God gives. A record label, not all, a lot of record labels, a lot of times. It's like a record label is no different than a job. A lot of jobs or record labels or uh, they only love you, quote unquote, or support you under certain conditions. Some of those banks and stuff they tell you certain conditions apply. It, 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 it's only under certain conditions. A lot of people don't really care about you as as a, as 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 you are. Like God says, "Come as you are." A lot of people don't 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 care about that part of it. I've seen the real and the fake. And I know a lot of people who have never really, 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 really hit rock bottom. Like I feel like I have before. I know there's people that have hit rock bottom more than me. But there's a lot of people who have not hit rock bottom like me. Right? So those people are kind of given this silver spoon. Or might not be a silver spoon. Might be, might be a bronze spoon. But it's better than what I got. Okay. Um, I might not even have a plastic spoon some days. It might be a paper spoon. That's the fourth down. That's the valley. Sometimes we ain't even got that. So we just make, you know what I'm saying? We just, so, so like I say, man, um, it, it's a lot of people, man, that call my phone. You wouldn't imagine how many people call my phone for support, for money, for, you know what I'm saying? Just, just for consultation. And people fail to realize that consultation is, is worth money. So while I'm giving you consultation or instruction or research that I've done for free, I'm doing you a huge favor. A huge favor that you can't even put, you can't even put a, a, a price on that. It's some big celebrities out there that charge five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars just to consultate with you. And I'm giving you this stuff for free. But it means nothing to you because you don't know what it takes. You don't know the, the blood, sweat, and tears that's that I have to put to 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 to, to get to this point or to get this information. Or to know what's what information is, is, is legit and what information is bogus. I feel like I'm getting to it. I've always wanted to be married. But I've seen so much fakery. Friends, family, relationships. Like I've seen so much fakery more fakery than real and it just blows my mind because i've always been the type of person that would you know what i'm saying like bro i've always been the type of person that i mean would do just about anything i believe to make sure that and I would say not not with everybody now. It's 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 certain people that I've always felt like, man, I would do anything for this person. I would do anything for that person. I would do like anything. If I seen him up under a bridge, I'd be like, bro, what you doing up under that bridge, man? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Now I ain't like that with everybody. 
um, it's just because we live different lifestyles, right? And people just want to live how they live. And then when they end up in certain situations, you know what I'm saying? Like, but people probably look at me the same way. Like, oh, well, you spend money on music equipment and film equipment. And then when you ain't got no money, we not finna help you. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, if that's the way they see it, then cool. But what, what people fail to realize is I see people waste money on stuff that is not really an investment. It's just them having fun or, them, you know what I'm saying? Like them wasting time or turning up for the weekend or whatever it is to each his own. Right. I don't if I if, if life was good for me, I might be doing it, too. But what I'm saying is. investing or spending money on something that could could potentially be a business like me i spend money on things that could be a business for me my dreams and goals but nine times out of ten 99 times out of ten let, let's say 95 times out of ten at, at 95 times out of 100 i'm not going to somebody saying hey man uh i need help with this or i need help with that because i blew money on music equipment or filming equipment no i figured out on my own people don't even know i be going through stuff sometimes when i be going through stuff people still be calling my phone asking for asking for help and handouts and i ain't, I ain't just talking about money it could be anything. It could be, you know what I'm saying? I could just be mentally going through it. And somebody might call my phone and ask for, hey, man, I need help with this. Or I need help with that. Consultation. It could just be that. Now, this is an example. I'm not, that's just an example. Right? What I'm saying is, I could wake up out of my sleep. Right? And answer the phone for people. I could be in the middle of something and answer my phone for people. Every time. But when it comes to me relying on those people, I don't get that in return. 95% of the time, I'm looking out for them. Maybe 10% of the time, they might look out for me. You feel me? Like, it's, 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 it's not the same. So how can... How can we rely on team when nobody is worthy of that duty or that task or that assignment? If you look in, the, if you look in the, 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 a lot of the music history, a lot of people who hired somebody on in their team, a lot of times it was somebody in that team that screwed them over. I'm not saying don't have a team. People get screwed over by record labels sometimes, right? People get screwed over by big corporations a lot of times. A lot of times. That's a whole nother conversation. The job that I work now claim to be this Christian company which the CEO might might have might actually mean good but when you got poor management and when you got poor leaders over the management and they're just about the money and they don't care about your safety they don't care about your health they don't care about you as a person they don't see you as a human being they see you as a dollar they see you as a bonus for them. And that's all they see you as. So sometimes a team can get in the way. It's not about just having a team. It's about having the right team. And if you don't know anybody that is worthy of putting on the team shoes then it's better for you to 
Invest in yourself. God exposes everyone in the valley. And that's one thing that I learned in relationships, in, 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 in music, in, in any type of career, in, in your job field. I've only been in one relationship. Where the person actually rocked with me. Even when I didn't have a job, that person's feelings, attitude, energy, vibe never changed. It actually got stronger. When I didn't have a job, that person loved me even more. Because it's like, oh, now we get to spend a lot of time together until you find another job. And the only reason that I left and went back to work away from home or away from that person was because I'm not a leech. I don't like leeching off of people. And I also like to have money in my own pocket and I got dreams and goals and stuff like that. And uh, I have children to take care of. Um, I had I have bills to pay, and so, I, I, like I said, I don't like freeloading or leeching off of people, right? And so, everything that that person had did for me, I did my best when I got my job to pay all of that money back. And you don't have a lot of people like that in this world. You don't have a lot of people like that in this world. When people get on top, they forget about you. When people are on bottom, they remember you. You gotta be careful man I feel like God sometimes us on the bottom before God bless if you look in the Bible this is what I've been told if you look in the Bible before God blessed um, most people they went through the valley and while we would look at God and shake our fist at God like God why are you doing this to me that's human nature but it makes us look up to God and, and, and really tune in to God and it makes us tune into the people around us it makes us see oh he did me dirty she did me dirty them two over there I thought they was loyal Cause think about it If God would have If you Let's say you're in the middle Right And God say Alright I'm finna bless this person I'm finna give them everything They ever could, could ever imagine Boom Now you up here You taking everybody with you Everybody that was around you When you was right here When you get up here You taking them with you And they gonna feel like Most of them gonna feel like they deserve to go with you. They deserve to be you to give them a couple of thousand, a couple of million, a couple of hundred thousand. Like, but if you're right here in the middle, and God says, Hold on, it's some snakes around you, it's some fakes around you, it's some hypocrites around you, it's some people that ain't that 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 only love you in certain conditions that are around you. Hold on real quick. We're not going to the peak. We finna detour into the valley. You just disguised and cloaked because everybody, every you was right here. And everybody knew you was on that slight incline going up, 
going up, going up, going up, going up. You was, you, 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 you was going. You was finna be right here. But it was like God, God seen, okay, we finna go up. We finna go up. We, hold on, hold on, hold on. Snakes around you. Detour. Boom. You go down. Now you looking around where everybody go. Where everybody at? Ain't nobody helping you. It's like God took you down just to show you and expose them same people that was calling out to you and crying to you and asking you for help. Where they at when you need help? It's only a handful of them. If it ain't even that many. It ain't even that many. But so God took you from right here to right here. Built and, and, and while you down there when you when you when you when you underwater. You start to really build character even more than when you was right here and everything was kind of you was maintaining so when you go down here and you in the valley it ain't no food you know what i'm saying like it ain't it ain't no sunshine you underwater you feel me like it's snakes down here it's it's, it's even worse than it was right here but everybody seeing you in the valley was standoffish. We ain't going down there. Like, people wouldn't even throw you a rope. I mean, you, I mean, you got some that might, but how many people are willing to do what you would do for them? You see what I'm saying? So, then when God takes you from here, to here watch all them people that was right here all of a sudden come out the woodworks hey bruh we was looking for you where you been at oh you done forgot about us see what I'm saying hey man I need help with this hey man I need a little bit of money for this I promise you and when you get up there you're gonna feel like everybody is genuine because they gonna seem genuine wolves and sheep's clothing hypocrites whatever you want to call them and i'm not saying that all of them intentionally are this way some of them are just scared to go into the valley <laughs> some of them just scared to go into the valley but then you have some people that are just selfish and I'm not saying that they are selfish 100%. They might be 50% cool, 50% giving, and 50% selfish. Or they might be 30% giving and 70% selfish. I mean, but sometimes that's... If you don't look out for you, who gonna look out for you? So I can't get mad at somebody being about self. I can't be mad at that. But what I can be mad about is people feeling some type of way when they're given the same energy that they give out. So if you are 70% or 90% about self and 10% about others, then I'm going to be 90% about self and 10% about you. I, I could be that. That's not what the Bible says to do. So I've never been that way. But ladies and gentlemen. What I want y'all to understand and take from this. Is. Recognize a leech. Recognize a fake. Recognize and peep who is really rocking with you. When the wheels fall off. Who willing to get out there and help you change the flat. Versus who calling an Uber. To continue the mission without you. Or they on vacation Or they watching TV Until you get done with the flat 
You feel me? Watch out for them kind of people. Please watch out for them kind of people. Like, that's why I think it is very important. I might have already said this, but I think that's why it is very important for us to not just try to be artists or not just try to be workers for some organization that don't care about you. They at home sleep, you know, and they are practicing capitalism. You know what I'm saying? And... I know people got a business to run, but it's a it's a right and wrong way, man. Some people only some people only rock with you when it's a benefit for them. Other people, I can applaud people that they're like, okay, it's a it's a 50-50 type thing, or it's a give and take. You know what I'm saying? You do something for me, I do something for you. That's that's cool. That's that's ain't nothing wrong with that at all. But I've always been the type that does what the Bible says and, and goes the extra, extra, extra mile. Where I would give somebody my last and I not have nothing for myself. Hoping that I would always have good, uh, a good name with people. Hoping that I would always have a good credit with people. But what I'm saying is when you help this person and help that person, it could be consultation. It ain't just got to be money. It could be money. It could be anything. When you help that, when it help this, when it help that, when it help this, when it help this, when it help that one. It could be something as simple as let me put gas money in my car because I do it all the time and drive to your house. And then I got to drive back. When you realize you the one always putting gas in the car to go here and there and here and everywhere for them. Or for something getting to where they are. And back. And they're not putting the same gas and putting the same maintenance on their car. You got to ask. See, people don't think about this stuff. You got to ask yourself. If you had a flat tire 60 miles away. 30 miles away how many of them people would actually get up out they sleep and come come help you i know it's a lot of people i would do it for it could be fur further than that somebody could be 200 miles away it really ain't no 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 limit on how far away it could be if i got the money and the time if i can take off from work and come come help my my friend or somebody in my family and you ain't got no way to get here? I know some people that won't drive 15 miles for me. I know some people that won't drive probably 5 miles for me. I know some people that won't drive down the street for me. People are focused on self and this is in the bible this is how this is just human nature we are all about self first which the bible speaks against now you can't put people first that are leeching off you Cause that's like satanic That's like devilish That's not coming from God But when you have people Now the bible says like, don't. What, what good is it that if you only do good To people that do good to you So I do good to everybody I try to But ladies and gentlemen After doing this for so long It gets old People will suck you and drain you and use you until you drop dead. And then when you drop dead, they will go to the next victim.
what I'm saying is recognize a devil. Recognize a leech. Recognize somebody that the devil is using. Somebody that God is not using. Because God ain't using that type of person. Somebody that can just freeload and use you and speak dirt on your name. When they when they doing good and they don't need you and they speak so much dirt on your name. Reckon, I, I know some people like that. I, and I promise you. Boy, I promise you. If I could cut them people off, I would. Fourth down. I got a song coming out. A video. My first music video that I've ever done. It's coming out soon. It's coming out soon. And everything that I pretty much talked about today. My whole life. How we started as a group. How I started music by myself. Then I went into a group. And then our group went downhill. Everybody that we helped, everybody that we loved, everybody that we supported, turned their backs on us. Most of them. I say 90 to 95% of them turned their backs on us, if not more. Turned their backs on us. We were left to do all the hard work by ourselves. There were times when I felt like I was alone. There were times when my homeboy felt like he was alone. Because I had forsaken the group. You feel me? So. Your four, in your fourth down. When it's only you and God. In your most critical hardships. When it's only you and God. When that woman had told you she loved you so much, she wanted you to buy her this and buy her that. That's why I don't spend money on women no more. Because I want to see what you were like in the fourth down. When I don't give you nothing. When I give you exactly what you give me. Not saying I don't give you nothing. But when I don't give when when I give you exactly what you give me. If you don't give me money, I don't give you money. If you don't give me time and attention, I don't give you time and attention. If you don't send a text, I don't send a text. I'm no longer giving people stuff on credit anymore. I'm about down to my last straw. Like Punton said, Punton of, uh, out of Houston, Texas. He said, "I'm I'm 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 tired of giving out fakers, or I'm I'm running. I ain't got no more fakers. Like basically, you know how you can give somebody something. You can be like, hey, hey man, I need this. Oh yeah, here you go. Hey man, I need. This. Oh yeah, here you go. Punton is one of them people that always just gave and gave and gave and gave, and he just wanted to see everybody eat. But the problem was is he he wasn't eating himself because every time he got something, he was helping somebody else. He finally got to a point where he said, I ain't got no more fakers. Like I have no more fake love to give out. What a real one's at. So now it's a, it come at a price. You see what I'm saying? And that's where I'm at with it, man. Uh Believe in your music career, man, when nobody else does. When your stuff hit rock bottom, when your job lost or whatever it is, believe in yourself, man. Believe in that business. Believe in whatever it is, man, that God, if God has truly given you that vision. Now, if God ain't giving you the vision and you just like, oh, yeah, I want to I wanna do music or I want to do this or I want to do that. How long are you going to do it? A year, two years, five years, you only don't you 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 only want to do it when somebody's helping you do it. No. Sometimes God is gonna put us to our lowest and that's gonna really let us know if we really wanna do this.